What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. I'm excited to share this one with you today. We just got done digging two swells here on the bottom side of our property, right beside our market gardens, and we planted all kinds of berries along these swells. But I just want to share with you um, why we did swells, the benefits of them, and what all we planted along the back side of these swells. So let's jump into it. So when you think about a swell, it's just a fancy term for a ditch that's going to hold water. But it's not like a normal ditch that most people dig just to get water away from their property. A swell is there to hold water on the landscape. And essentially, if you think about digging a ditch that's level with the slope of your land, that's essentially what a swell is. Um, a lot of people say digging it on contour, which basically just means you're digging a level ditch on your property so that when water flows downhill, it's going to be captured into the swell. It's going to hold the water on the landscape and it's going to seep into your subsoil. And so there's just a lot of benefits to them. So we specifically dug our swells here on the bottom side of our market gardens. And the reason we did that is this is kind of the bottom side of our farm. And this is where all of the nutrients flow. We'll get compost runoff and heavy rains. So we wanted to not only capture the nutrients, but we also want to capture water that is flowing downhill. Now, when we dug these, we started out with our A-frame. There's a lot of good information online about how to build one of these A-frames. I'll put some links down below because this video isn't about building an A-frame, but it's really, really simple to build, and that's going to help you. You're going to need one of these to find the contour lines to mark your swell and then dig it. But after we use the A-frame to mark our contour line, then we took our handy dandy broad fork and we dug up the swell because our soil is a little bit hard down here. We hadn't had rain in a few weeks, so it's tough to do with a shovel. So we broad forked it out and then from there we just used a shovel and kind of went along the ditch to clean it up. And then from there what we did is we marked our holes where we wanted our plants to be. So for instance, this swell here is all planted with blackberries. And the reason that we just did blackberries is because typically they're gonna need trellised. So we're gonna trellis them along this swell. And what we're also gonna do is plant some comfrey and we'll plant different types of perennial herbs at the base of these as well. Um, just that's gonna attract pollinators and it's just gonna add some diversity. And so we marked our holes and then we amended with compost. So we just added compost in a hole and then we transplanted the plant. So after we transplanted, we put down tons of wood chips that we had on our property. The reason we're putting wood chips down is because wood chips hold water. And we want to passively irrigate these berry swells. And so we're gonna continue to add wood chips, but basically we added it on the top layer of the swell. We also added wood chips down into the swell pit, so to speak. The other thing we did is we added logs because over time those are gonna break down, they're gonna feed the soil, and they're also gonna act as a sponge. So when water flows downhill into these ditches, all that organic matter is going to absorb water and hold it there and passively irrigate our blackberries, our raspberries, our honeyberries. So in this well here, we spaced out raspberries a little bit further than is actually recommended because we want to plant some comfrey. We want to plant an herbaceous layer in between these raspberry plants. And then also here on the end, we have a honeyberry plant and we're gonna be planting another honeyberry plant over here. So that's kind of the way we did it. And, you know, this is a bit of an experiment for us, but we felt like this was a great spot because again, we get so much nutrient runoff from the market gardens and this is where rain ends up. So it's allowing us to hold it on the landscape, keep it on our property and benefit from it, from passively irrigating all of this here. So I'll keep you all updated on this project. We're gonna continue to be digging swells and doing projects like this here on our farmstead. So if you like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.